Ladies and gentlemen, major milestones are coming to Gala Games in regards to players downloading their games. This is Classy Games. If you enjoy this kind of content, as always, like and subscribe. We've got a lot of cool stuff to talk about Gala Games. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So look at this. 50,000 downloads on Champions Arena. This came out, what, a week or two ago at this point? No, no. Yeah, a week ago, literally a week ago. So, yeah, no, this is pretty insane. 50,000 downloads already. I remember when I was making my video on 20,000 downloads, and I said, and by the way, everyone in the comment section that was saying that there was no way that we were going to hit 50,000 downloads by the end of this month, you have been proven wrong. I said this. I called this in a video. It is still a public video on my channel that we would hit 50,000 downloads on Champions Arena by the end of this month it is august 31st as you could see here and yes i was correct so this is awesome you know they're giving seven tickets to people that end up playing champions arena if you're into turn-based strategy games then you're going to be into this one i mean this is on mobile everybody's playing it right now on the gala games ecosystem and this i want to talk about this for a while because I remember when they had initially announced the Champions Arena bundles and, you know, it was the, the loot boxes. But even before that, they were talking about, you know, the Nexus and, you know, the estates and, and you know, they were, they were pricing them at $1,500 and $2,000. And then every creator and a bunch of people within the community were going like, oh my god, that is absurd, it is so overpriced, this is so dumb, why would Gala do something once again to overprice their NFTs? And then, you know, it didn't sell out, right? People were fighting it. If the game ends up coming out, gets a ton of downloads, it is record-breaking user player DAU. Re record-breaking. I don't think Gala has had this much DAU since the bull market. Like, it's been that long since we've had this many people playing Gala games. So, everything has been blown out of the water. The Nexus, it's ridiculous how much value they have given. I'm talking about, a, a I think it was like $1,000 worth of discount. You would sell back all the items today. It would be like minimum 2 ETH, right? And that's what, 3.5 thousand or something like that. So, yeah, I, I mean, like it, people are doing so well off of this. And I think this is Probably the biggest win Gala has ever had in terms of convincing people that some of these assets might actually be worth buying. Because lately, it's felt like, you know, you buy stuff on the Gala game store, you lose out overall, and you're just sad for the rest of eternity. But no, like with Champions Arena, it was a massive success. People are playing this game. Ultimately speaking, you shouldn't be getting into these games for the investment purposes. But I think it is good to at least see that it retains its value, that you're not just spending tons of money and then getting absolutely nothing for it, which is the vision, right? That's the vision that Web3 Gaming has. It's the vision that it's been pushing for a very long time. So, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, they continue this trend and just continue to be great. So next thing I wanted to talk about is in regards to a Champions Arena hub. And a lot of people have been looking forward to a brand new version for it. I did say there's a big update coming soon. And here's the update, right? Here's the update on our Champions Arena hub. This is going to a dedicated website that I am currently creating alongside others. That uh, I've got a fancy little coder doing it. He might be the person that made another hub in the past. But I think it looks awesome. I think that, you know, getting this hub onto here with brand new information is going to be great for the community. And I'm just happy to be able to do things for the community overall. If you're playing Champions Arena and you're looking for a guild, you've got over 40,000 power. Hydra is recruiting. This is my guild, my estate on Champions Arena. We give 75% of all gems back to people in our guild. So if you're looking for a guild and you're pretty half decent at the game, feel free to go ahead, apply to Hydra, DM me, and I'll go ahead and get you in. Next thing I want to talk about, Mirandus. We all love a little bit of Mirandus news, don't we? So Mirandus is having something. It's an upcoming shipwreck sale. Apparently, they're gearing up to perform some burns within the vault and store wallet and subsequently mint them on Gala Chain for the upcoming shipwreck sale. Apparently, the total supply is going to go down, and then blah, 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 blah. But interesting, shipwreck sale. My guess is, I mean, they've been doing NFT mystery boxes. They did loot boxes on Champions Arena, and that sold out. My guess is that they're doing Miranda's mystery boxes. I don't know if that's exactly what they're doing. I could be wrong. 
But, I mean, I've been right so far. I think that they're going to be mystery boxes. I'm not 100% sure. But mystery boxes will be cool. I mean, I think Mirandis is probably the most hyped game on the Gala Games ecosystem. Uh, so, I'll probably be grabbing one of those mystery boxes myself. But anyway, look at this. <laughs> We've got cool art showcases. This is Vox. Voxverse is something I've been sleeping on for a very long time. I don't own a chicken yet. Apparently, they're talking about classy chickens. This is Beakbender. Now, remember Bitbender, Beakbender? Apparently, he's um on the grasp of death, and uh, we have to solve a puzzle for him to live. And here's the Morse code on the puzzle. So, if anybody wants to pause the video and figure out what the heck this says, feel free to do it. I hope it says something good and I don't get demonetized here. But, look at that. A little alligator. Or is it a crocodile? I think it's... That looks like an alligator. Is it an alligator? Yeah. We'll say it's an alligator. Trying to eat Beakbender. A Robocoop apparently was found safe and sound. Bucks, however, is looking mighty suspicious as Bucks had a little bit too much to drink during that night. So we'll see what ends up happening here with the Vox first. I think there were some delays on Get Plucked. I want to play Get Plucked. When is Get Plucked coming out? Hopefully, when is uh, the answer to that? So Ficosha making a Spider Tanks tournament in Brazil. Once again, it was really successful the last time. Tugal seems to be supporting creators once again and doing a Brazilian Spider Tanks tournament. I think a lot of the community at this point on Spider Tanks is Brazilian, so I am happy to see that they are supporting Brazil in another endeavor once again. When my internet decides to be fixed in the next three eons, I will be sure to do my own Spider Tanks tournament as well, but we'll see when that, that ends up happening. If you're my internet service provider, I would just like to say, please fix my internet so I could do more Gala Games content. Thank you. Anyway, next in the news, and kind of where I want to close this out, is uh, where we are in the state of Gala Games. Because I feel like over the past two years, it's kind of been like a lot of, oh, win moon, and win this, win that, uh, you know, speculate on prices for things, and, you know, you're not a Web3 gamer if you're not speculating on, like, when this thing is going to 300x and 3 million x or whatever it is that people end up spinning up. Humble opinion, humble opinion. Sure, you know, people can make the argument of, oh, you made money in the bull market, so you don't care about making money now, and blah, 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 blah. First off, no, I did not, right? And no, I think most people didn't either. Uh, some people did, sure, right? Some people made great money. But overall, I've always been a person that's, like, been more focused on games. I understand the proposition that, you know, like, Web3 games can bring and Gala and them activating on different fronts and entertainment and all that awesome stuff. Ultimately speaking, the only thing I care about is that Gala ends up you know, bringing results, bringing good games to market that I genuinely enjoy playing. Like, Spider Tanks, I played a lot of. A Champions Arena, I'm playing a lot of. I'm not playing a lot of these other games because they just don't captivate. They aren't out. They aren't to market with a bunch of players and an ecosystem and a big community of people that are genuinely in love with everything uh, that is, you know, not just Gala, but just gaming in general. And that's how it should be. That's the vision. A lot of people are doing a debate on, you know, Web3 Gaming and whether or not it's just about the tokens or the games. I think it's about both. I think it's primarily about the games. The games have to be good. They have to be fun. They have to have communities. All this kind of stuff, right? It's hard to run a game. It's hard to be a gaming company in general. In general. But, you know, tokens, I mean, they can have a place. Sure. That's just it, right? There's always going to be people that are focused on tokens. Even in League of Legends, there's people that, like, boost accounts, and they sell skins, and there's, like, this black market, and a ton of different stuff in all these different games. There's always going to be people like that. But a vast majority of players have to just play a game for fun. They have to play a game because they just feel like playing it. And that ultimately is what's going to bring success to our industry. So, whenever I cover Gala, the, the focus is not about tokens. The focus is about the games. The focus is about having fun. I mean, I've got my girlfriend playing Champions Arena right now, so... Uh, if that goes to show anything, there it is. I've been doing a lot of, you know, exploration on Gala Music, Gala Film on my other channel, and that's been a lot of fun to get deeper into. Gala's doing things right. They have to continue to do what they're doing because it's going to be really exciting uh, for the future. And that's pretty much going to be it. I mean, we have, if you want to go ahead and support the channel, I don't ask for donations or anything. If you're going to buy on the Gala Game store or, you know, any of the stores and the multiple websites they have on ClassyCrypto.com, we have all the affiliate links, so if that's something you'd like to do, feel free to do it. All links are in the description if you'd like to just tap on them too. But with that being said, stay classy, and that's all.